board, Captain. As you wish, Lord Captain. What would you like to know? I used to be an officer in the Navis Imperialis. No. A used to be is not quite right. It was not simply a job. It was my calling. The essence of my life. I was proud to serve Lord Captain Theodora, but in my heart and mind, I am still an officer of the... I met Lord Captain Theodora on a mission where the Imperial Navy was providing reinforcement to the rogue trader's army on one of the frontier worlds. Our acquaintance was uh, not easy. Working with people outside the Navy hierarchy has never been my strong suit. It was to my great surprise then, that after the mission's completion, I received a refer- uh, It was a difficult choice for me. But I saw in the offer a chance to serve the interests of humanity even more effectively than in the Navis Imperialis. You do not need me to tell you just how remarkable a person Lord Captain Theodora was. I recognized her at once as a true leader and formidable creative force. One who had built a protectorate amidst the dangers and wildness of the Expanse. Of course. I thank you for the honor, but I must decline. As a former military officer, I believe in the importance of order in all things, including the chain of command. You are the Lord Captain, as you wish, Lord. I am a widower. I am a father of four, and if my information is not outdated, a grandfather of eleven. My family lives on Dargonus. None of my children express any eagerness or aptitude for serving aboard ship. And I would hardly have insisted that they follow in my footstep. What? Lord Captain, any allegations of improper feelings or unsanctioned relations are utterly baseless and bordering on the insulting. Utterly baseless. You could say there was no one among the naval command who was willing to impede the wishes of the rogue trader. To do so would be to risk their own position and their relationship with Theodora. <laughs> Oh, the Lord Captain possessed certain contacts in the Imperial Navy. Contacts which she used to request help during the conflict on the border world. And which enabled her to make me an offer that resulted in my joining her retinue. The Narvis Imperialis is an ancient institution with its own mandates and muster lists. On occasion, in the heat of an official briefing or an informal discussion, I violated those rules, determined to press my point. It is challenging to choose the words to accurately express my opinion on a situation or the actions of others that do not sound overly scathing or confrontational. Many in command were inclined to view my manner of speaking as unbefitting a person of my rank. Of course. A noble aspiration, Lord Captain. I am ready to acquaint you with all the particulars that interest you. This is a topic for an official briefing, not a casual conversation. But I will try to answer succinctly. And if you permit, in my own words... <sighs> the Coronas Expanse is considerably removed from the heart of the Imperium. This means that local warp routes become useless within months. Established pathways are regularly subject to attacks from all kinds of rabble. And in the only major port, the Imperium's frigates find themselves moored alongside pirate vessels. Until recently, the Coronas Expanse could hardly have been called a region of the Imperium. The situation has changed with the arrival of the Lord Inquisitor, but not by much. This place operates under its own rules, you see. More radical, so to speak. But ones that allow for a non-standard approach where there is a promise of victory. The Coronas Expanse has considered rogue trader territory for a reason. Only rogue traders have sufficient military might, audacity, and the rights granted them by the Warrant to survive the leap into the unexplored part of the Expanse, and in the event of a successful outcome, to hold on to whatever they manage to capture on the frontier. In the first instance, you should treat official representatives of the Imperium with respect. The Expanse may be on the fringes, but it still numbers among the territories of the Golden Throne. 
The arrival of the Lord Inquisitor has turned the Coronus Expanse into a less wild and uncontrolled region, to the regret of some individuals who had grown inured to the local lawlessness. Rogue traders such as yourself are also servants of the Imperium. They have been accorded special rights and powers. They wield immense authority within their territory, and they enjoy absolute respect in other parts of the Expanse. The most powerful of them are Caligos Winterscale and Incendia Bastal Chorda. Tread carefully when dealing with either of them. If we are to speak of unclaimed territory, which is what Footfall is, among the scum that dwells on that handful of asteroids, there are three factions that wield considerable influence in the sector. The first is the Kasbala Commission, organized crime in its most primitive form. It holds sway over the liege of Footfall and has links to rogue trader Winterscale. The second faction is an offshoot of our shining Ecclesiarchy, followers of St. Drusus. They are actively building their forces and hold influence over rogue trader Chorda. And finally, the third faction, the Explorators, a wing of the Adeptus Mechanicus. They are willing to die and kill for the secrets of the ancient technological heresies that are hidden among the stars of the Coronus Expanse. Ah, you know, Lord Captain, I am no admirer of fine art. But when we next find ourselves in a civilized port, with time to spare, I will promptly find an artist and commission a portrait of the individual to whom you refer, with a hole between the eyes. Conrad Voitveer. That he committed his treachery and escaped with his life was an unforgivable oversight. We both served Lord Captain Theodora for many years, and we never saw eye to eye. He was brash. He was never afraid of assuming responsibility, and he willingly took on difficult tasks. I am loath to admit it, but the Von Valatius Protectorate continues to reap the fruits of his labors to this day. His service always garnered my respect. But everything else about him made me want to wring the neck of that two-faced snake. If you are taking comfort in the thought that we will hear no more of Conrad, prepare to be disappointed. You thwarted his plans, his meticulously plotted and nurtured treachery. As you wish, Lord Captain. Lord Captain.
<laughs> what are you talking about, Lord Captain? Lord Captain, there's nothing to worry about. I've been on this ship just short of ten years. Would Lady Von Valancius have kept me on if she wasn't sure about me? I mean, yeah, sometimes stuff happens. Small stuff. Like when I hear things. Sometimes what I hear is so clear it becomes real to me. But even ordinary folks have... None of the officers knew the Lord Captain well. Not even Abelard, and she was always closer to him than anyone else. She told me from the off that if I ever listened to anything in the warp about her without her permission, I'd be going out through the airlock. I'm not an idiot, so I... It's... hard to wrap my head around the fact that she's gone. Lady von Valancius gave me everything I have. She opened the stars to me and the paths between them. The little sister is afflicted with her own set of voices, ones that whisper to her about corruption and heresy. The silly girl doesn't realize that if she wants to find the source, she needs to start by looking in her own head. All right, let's hear what they Seek not on firm ground, but in a golden hall suspended in the void. There waits a child without kin, but with a name blind to truth. She draws the brush across the canvas and does not notice that her palette is full not of paint, but of blood. And with each smear, this well does not deplete, but fills and fills up to the brim. One thing is clear. When this vessel overflows, among the blind men and false prophets, a red-robed sage seeks the answer to a question. He does not know that it is not the answer he must seek, but the question that will draw everything into focus. Will you help him, rogue trader? But mark that sometimes ignorance is sweeter than oblivion. A chained hound chases after glimmers of the aurora, but sparks in the scent of oil confound his nose. A chain trails after him. What will happen if you pick it up? Will you become his mistress? Or me? The glow of dawn bursts forth from its prison. Dungeon walls cannot contain the dark essence wallowing in the dust. A naive cub pushes his nose into a familiar hand. One that holds death in twisted glass. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Lord Captain. The voices are going wild. I can't make out a thing. I'll try to rein them in somehow, but for now... Lyra, an outlying world in the heathen star's region. In the Coronis Expanse, the deeper you go, the less visible the Astronomicon gets, and the less people know about the Imperium. The arrival of a rogue trader is the best thing that can happen to a world like that. It's an out-of-the-way planetoid between two faint stars. On Lyra, a dozen local tyrants fight over five measly continents, but they use everything they can to win, from poison to psychers. But here on the ship is a different story altogether. I saw more wonders in my first year serving Lady von Valancius than I'd seen in my whole life on Lyra. Like my first journey through the warp, I was in bed for three days. I felt like supernovas were exploding in my head. I only found out later that I'd gotten off easy. <laughs> Just through the bulkhead in the bay next to mine, a whole team turned into... Look at me rambling on, Lord Captain. Pay no attention. Oh, I embroidered wall hangings in honor of our national heroes. <laughs> I did this. There's no such thing as a peaceful life on Lyra. People like me were especially sought after. They'd pick psychers up wherever they found them, buy kids off their parents, even just abduct them. Take me, for instance. I got taken from my street gang. The older kids sold me when they noticed there was something off about me. The ruling dynasties had schools where they trained us and beat us black and blue. Theodora von Valancius paid a visit to the ruler I was serving at the time. I don't know what the visit was for, and it's no business of mine anyway. 
As I got at her, all of a sudden I heard a whisper. A hint, a suggestion, nothing more. But I know the difference between idle chatter and a real threat. I seized my chance and approached Theodora. I managed to whisper a couple of words in her ear before the wardens dragged me away. They beat me and locked me up. No wonder. It wasn't my place to converse with outsiders. And then Theodora's people came for... Mm, a few times. Not many. And if I think about it, why would I want to? I've got everything I need here. It wasn't... It wasn't like it was a very fun trip, Lord Captain. But look, if you want to be entertained, ha, I'm the woman for the job. I'll entertain you with one of the stories from my collection, no problem. But if you want to hear about the time I melted everyone in the bay next door, well, I just don't really want to go into the details on that one, all right? Lord Captain, you could ask yourself that every Psyker feels their connection with the Warp in their own way. One person might see spots and shadows out of the corner of their eye. Training, habit, and a little Amasek and a couple other things you can get on the lower decks. <laughs> well, if the door opens, that means somebody's planning to come in, right? But screw them. They're not... <laughs> Only losers who are afraid of their own gift lose control. Or idiots who never figure out what they are before it's too late. Or little kids who want to play around with their sh- All right. That's what I'm here for, after all. So, I'm just going to... lean on that door in my- All right. Let's hear- <sighs> I'm sorry, Lord Captain. The voices are going wild. I can't make out a thing. Of course. Rogue traitor. I indeed have a request. Ro
Greetings. Gladly, there are none more faithful to the God Emperor than my sisters. We fight against his enemies by the will of the Holy Ecclesiarchy. We... <laughs> I beg your pardon, rogue trader. Here I am talking about what every lesser noble in the Imperium knows. It is. The Sisters of Battle are a fire lit by the God Emperor. They are the echo of his voice that travels through the dark expanses of the universe. We bring his wrath to heretics, mutants, and other enemies of humanity. Even the novices of the Adeptus Aurorotus are drawn from among the most worthy. Those who have taken the vows and become a full-fledged sister are the best of the best. Each such occurrence is a great tragedy for us all. Light cannot bear the smallest speck of darkness within. And thus, those who have trespassed or shown weakness of spirit are given a chance at redemption. They are called Sisters Repentia, and may the enemy tremble before her, for nothing can stop a sister of battle who yearns to be cleansed. Wearing nothing but robes, no armor, eviscerator in hand, those sisters who have once faltered find repentance on the battlefield. Their lives are seldom long, but a death in the name of purgation is a better fate than to live with a shadow. Once I had completed my novitiate, I was sent to the Calixian branch of the Order of Our Martyred Lady, assigned to the Order's Pronatus. The Order's mission is vital and noble. The Sisters Pronat... And we seek out the relics that have been lost. Don't let the name deceive you. The Order's militant train sisters to march onto the battlefield as an army. That does not make sisters who belong to the non-militant orders timid. Both the Solace Bringing Sisters Hospitala and the Enlightened Sisters Dialogus know how to greet enemies of humanity. Their dialogue with heretics is usually quite short with the... And my Order has all the more reason to be known for the martial prowess of its sisters. We are the keepers of the Imperium's relics. What would become of our blessed hero's legacy if the Sisters Pronatus could not protect it? The Order sent me to Footfall. My undertaking was to assist the local priesthood of Drusians in caring for a sacred reliquary that had been there since the time of Parson Mr. Wayne, the station's founder. None that I'm aware of, but the Sisterhood's orders are many and can operate independently of one another, sending their sisters wherever their presence is needed as deemed by the Ecclesiarchy. Perhaps somewhere in the Lord Inquisitor's retinue, may his path be blessed, my sisters perform their duty as we speak. 
I wish it were so. Even a single evening spent in joint prayer and training would bring me joy. Should any more arise, keeping them to yourself would be imprudent. It is a virtue to take an interest in holiness. This ship was targeted by heretical pirates, which means that my presence here and the assistance I provide to you are my sacred duty. Those are very courteous words, rogue trader. Thank you, both for your words and your hospitality.
will be your downfall! Show them no mercy! Just a minor setback. As the Emperor commands, I act. <laughs> Guided by faith! No can do. Anything else? Follow my lead. Her target well struck. I'll make it happen. You've never stood a chance. It's as good as done. Who, if not me? has failed me. Faith without deeds is worthless. Doubt is for the weak. Ah! Uh. 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 
Worm. You dare to argue with your master? It was not you whom I swore to serve within these walls. My lips are sealed. Confess! What was the old man's last command? What are you planning? Give up, Keeper. You have lost this battle. Again. <laughs> We're getting nowhere with these ones, sir. Permission to execute them. Thank you. 
keep your wits about you. The Whispers told me how. Compared to naval service, that was barely a challenge. Always keep your eye on the prize. Attention to detail is the key to success. Should I divine our next step? The future is never certain. Not this Grier's job. That's how it's done. Let us not dawdle. It will be done. Another enemy down. I'll see to it personally. I'll make it happen. Was inevitable. I've suffered worse. For sure. We'll do. <gasps> was was that you? Or Ugh, just a minor setback. 
injured! I'm enraged! Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Indeed. Ah. I will do my duty. As the Emperor commands, I act. God Emperor, move through me! Be the fire in my heart! That is not my destiny. Not the scryer's job. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I took care of this one. Poor von Valencius. My place is at the fore. Victory is imminent. At your beck and call. See to it personally. I refuse. On it. Brace yourself, Abelard. There is movement in the Empyrean. my sight. I always have a backup plan. Just as I planned.
This is unacceptable. Over there. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Duty prevails. The crew continues to mourn Lady Theodora. I fear it may affect the performance of their duties in service of the Lord Captain. We should deal with this. Join me in prayer. Blessed be the road that we take. I failed. The Emperor favors me today. Carry the Emperor's will as your torch. Never doubt me. I always keep my options open. Money to be made. Success is the only outcome I accept. That's how it's done.
Let us not dawdle. I always have a backup plan.
keep your wits about you. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Keep my options open. I always get the job done. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. This is intriguing. Let us not dawdle. Unexpected result.
Is there money to be made?
for mercy, but I will grant none. Stand your ground! Will do. Anything else? It will be done. Reduced to dust! I will do my duty. Victory is imminent. Why did I not foresee this? I'll do it. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll see to it personally. Oh. It's as good as done. Who if not me? My prescience has failed me. What of course? No can do. Will do. Follow my lead. Indeed. Felt pain like this. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. As the Emperor commands, I act. High momentum. On it.
Here's my perfect moment. I'll make it happen. I'll see to it personally. I won't compromise my principles. I'll make it happen. My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Darkness consumes me. This sacrifice will forge our way to victory. I took care of this one. A tactically sound approach. It will be done. Doubt is for the weak. That is not the Emperor's will. I'll do it. I'll see to it. You never stood a chance. Always keep your eye on the prize.
make an example out of you! For the Emperor! I refuse. On it. That is not my destiny. Was... was that you? Or... Another enemy down! Who, if not me? I won't compromise my principles. now as the emperor commands i act i'll do it i will not as the emperor commands i act for the weak. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Boarding. I'll make it happen. High momentum. I'll do it. Without deeds is worthless. Power resides in the will of the righteous. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. I will do my duty. How low can a man sink in the pursuit of power? Is your hatred of me really so strong, Felic? I... I've never... I... Uh, I, I did what ought to be done to renegades of House Orselio. You need not worry, rogue trader. I have no such power over the lives of ordinary people. You are engulfed in an aurora of crimson, your hope for pain and battle. But my gift will not help you with that. 
But this is my... My home. What? Um, what are you going to do to me? I beg your pardon, but what about my servants? Your Act 5 is still full of people loyal to House Orcelio. Hmm. I... As a Lady Navigator of House Orcelio, I accept your gracious offer of protection. Please, take me to your vessel. I can no longer bear the pain of this place.
Lord Captain, my apologies. I... I did not notice your entrance. Oh, this. <laughs> I found this fascinating reed on one of the shelves. And I must say, Yurak V had a vast archive of its own, of course. Although... Most of the works within had to do with scholarly disciplines of some sort or another. One should not underestimate the navigators of House Orcelio, Lord Captain. Like a shawl of pale smoke, a faint malaise hangs upon my shoulders. No, no, it is not that at all, Lord Captain. It is just that Uve is quite capable of carrying out his duties by... People on this ship who are far more impulsive and dangerous to others, and far less devoted to the God Emperor than a herald of the Navis Nobility. Hmm. But I did not need your words to see the shades of umber unease that whirl around your subjects whenever I am near. Were I not acquainted with such a reaction, I could have found their behavior in your question just now insulting. Lord Captain, would you... Kindly explain to me why you are pestering me with these questions. Inquiring about my mood and my needs, showing an interest in the books I am enjoying. I beg your pardon, Lord Captain. That was no way for a navigator to conduct herself. Please forgive me. 
I cannot even understand myself right now. Your words and attention have reminded me of life on the station. Of Theobald and Felek. I do not understand. They were merely the keepers of Urak V. So, why do memories of the... At the same time, I find myself overwhelmed with new excitement and... anticipation. At last, I have set foot outside my familiar walls, and into a world that I have only seen before in the pages of books. Indeed, I... I did not know. That is to say, I could not have known, as it is the first time we are speaking in a circumstance so... private. My word, when I found this place, it was so full of officers. Why did they all leave? Or because my presence offends them. <laughs> then I must take my leave as well. I am due to inspect the Sanctum Navis after the communion ritual and prepare the chamber for the upcoming warp jump. Thank you for your company.